All right, so this is the build that I did um, for my spot welder. I was kind of curious about how to do this. Uh, I tried it once before, it didn't work out super great, and I kind of figured out why after just kind of toying around with things a little bit. Um, but basically this is a 350 cold cranking amps lead acid battery. Um, and here is a solenoid that I have hooked up. So I just have the negative terminal hooked up here. Um, then I have the other end that will be contacted by the solenoid. Uh, it's a 12 volt um, and you can just hook this lead onto the positive and then just kind of tap it to here to get it to turn on. Um, but for some reason I just, to be short, and when I was testing it I just hooked it up to these guys, which is technically not 12 volts, but as you can hear, it still gets the job done. Um, so basically what I do is I grab onto this thing here. I got some nice rounded ends because you have to have rounded ends. You want them to not be sharp. If they're sharp, you'll get uh, these kind of issues here where it will punch through. You have to push really hard down on it to make sure that you have contact on both leads really firmly. And then you just kind of tap it on and just for about that long. So I'll just like that and that's about all it takes. And it, uh, and it puts it through and they're really solid. You can see they don't come off at all. I try prying up every one afterwards just to make sure that it's nice and solid. And this side's just covered. But yeah, um, it's pretty easy. Um, just figuring out how to get this thing hooked up right is kind of the difficult part. This is just some 10 gauge um, copper wire from like, um, the kind of wire that you would, the three phase wire that you would run for a house that's 10 gauge. That's what I did for those, and I filed them down with this guy here so that they are uh, they're nice and round and clean. And it does the job quite well. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask.